here's a couple TypeScript tips for you in context of my course platform. So I have all these course codes here, and this is just a regular JavaScript array. But by tacking as const onto the end of that declaration, the type of that will be extremely narrow from an array of strings to an array of only these strings, and it's real only, so it can never change. That's really nice because I can then generate my types off of that actual JavaScript data. Say type of courses, and you get a union of all the possible courses that I offer there. The square bracket number is by saying, give me the keys that are type of number, and it's an array, so 0, 1, 2, 3. So that is my courses, but then I have variants on each of those called products. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Using template string types in TypeScript, I can create every permutation of that by saying course code variant, and it will generate them all for me. It's something like 60 different variants in there. This is also handy if you have an array of data and you want to generate types from the keys or the values of that actual variable. So here we have some data, BJS and ARG. I can say key of type of some data, and that gives me a union of all of the different keys. The type of will give me a type from that. So watch this. If we remove that, the type will be the type of the shape of the object. But by saying key of, it says, OK, now that you have the type of that, just give me the actual keys off of that. And it gives us a union. Generating types from existing JavaScript data is actually really handy in TypeScript.